Take a deep breath in. And as you breathe in, breathe in a resourceful feeling of relaxation. And as you exhale, just allow any feelings of worry, stress or tension to leave your body in your outward breath. Enabling you to just get a sense that as you exhale, tension is leaving your body in your outward breath. As you breathe in and breathe out, I want you to imagine a faraway island. Perhaps an island maybe in Japan or Asia. And I want you to imagine there is a peaceful, tranquil environment. Maybe a large tree, maybe a sunset. And I want you to imagine that you're looking out towards the sunset, breathing in a resourceful feeling of relaxation and exhaling tension. And I want you to get a sense that you're feeling deeper and deeper relaxed just by being in this place far away from normal life. As you get a sense that you're breathing in more feelings of tension and stress and as you exhale, Worries, tension is leaving your body. I want you to imagine you're in a position of meditation under that tree looking out of that sunset. And there's a feeling of calmness. And I want you to create an image in your mind of a still lake. The lake can be full of waves in a storm but I want you to imagine a still lake and to get a sense that the stillness of the lake is a reflection of your ability to access a state of calm serenity tranquility being centered, being relaxed. I want you to imagine, just get a sense of being a child watching a TV show, maybe an action hero, maybe a kung fu master. I want you to imagine seeing this character Being surrounded by attackers, chaos, problems. And I want you to get a sense that this character had a unique resource. And that was the resource of being able to remain calm under pressure. To be a feeling of calm in the storm. I want you to get a sense that you're observing this character. Seeing him surrounded by chaos and almost finding the calmness, not in the environment, but within himself. Maybe you see him closing his eyes. Maybe he breathes differently. And I want you to get a sense that this is a useful tool. An ability to be able to tap into a feeling of calm and relaxation, particularly when the pressure and the stress and the storm is at its highest. I want you to see him go inwards, relax, find that place of calm, and then respond proportionately to whatever the situation is at that point in time. If he had to fight, then he would fight. If he could calm things down, maybe he would do that. I want you to get a sense that 
to have the power and choose whether to use it is much more advantageous than not to have the power and then really need it. As the famous quote says, it is better to be a warrior in the garden than a gardener in the war. And I want you to imagine drifting into the body of this Kung Fu master and going to that place that they went to to find that place of calm and relaxation. And maybe they pictured a turbulent lake turning into a still lake. Or maybe they pictured a storm. But even the biggest storms, the biggest hurricanes, have the eye of the storm in which everything is calm, even if there is chaos happening around it. I want you to get a sense that you are accessing that place. That you are the calm in the storm. You are the still lake. You are the peace within the chaos. And I want you to imagine that still lake somewhere inside you. Perhaps your heart, your solar plexus, your chest, your gut. And just get a sense that when you breathe slowly, you're exhaling tension and you're tapping into that wonderful feeling of calm, feeling centered, feeling relaxed, knowing that in this place, whatever you do is a decision rather than a reaction. And I want you to think of the word responsibility. Many people don't take responsibility. They react to situations and triggers. But some people have that ability to choose how they will respond to any situation. And I want you to imagine that this still feeling right in the center gives you the ability to choose how to respond in all different parts of your life. Just because the initial reaction could be an emotional trigger, that doesn't mean that is the only choice that you have. As humans, we have the ability to override the default. Whatever is the standard thing doesn't have to be the only thing. There are many people that found an ability to be at their most resourceful under the most pressure. And that could be someone in the world of crime, sports, business, whatever it might be, the people we look up to are those that can manage their emotions when it matters most. And I want you to imagine that you are accessing this feeling of calm, centered relaxation prior to a medical appointment. I want you to have the inner dialogue then. The fact that you have a medical appointment means that you're alive and not everyone is. Tap into a feeling of gratitude. Tap into a feeling of inner calm. It was famously said that the two certainties in life are death and taxes. And therefore death will come to all of us one day. So therefore... What's important is to make the most of the life that we have. And I want you to get a sense that you're going to this medical appointment with the attitude of a gratitude for the life you have and a desire to make the most of whatever time you have left. Whatever happens, happens. But your resource is your ability to find that still water to be the calm in the storm gives you a sense that it doesn't matter what happens around you. You are the sense of certainty. Imagine how good it would feel to 
always be re- able to rely on you, even if you can't rely on the people around you. Even if you can't rely on the variables around you. You can rely on you and your reaction. I want you to observe yourself with that spirit of being calm and centered and relaxed. Whatever tests take place, they take place, but see the version of you that is calm, centered and relaxed. Able, like that Kung Fu master, to find the calmness in the storm, the tranquility within. And just observe as that version of you handles it like a black belt in emotional mastery. See yourself leaving that medical appointment and smiling as you think to yourself. That's exactly the ideal way to handle that kind of situation. To choose your emotions. To accept anything. But to steer back in the lane of the emotion that you desire. And then imagine watching a version of you in the future, perhaps doing some kind of public speaking or debate. But see a similar facial expression to that Kung Fu master. A similar posture. A similar approach. See that version. Handle that situation. Gracefully. Eloquently. Calmly. They say that the smallest dogs have the biggest barks. And I want you to get a sense then. You're not one of these yappy dogs in a debate. You are a wise, strong, big dog. That almost the noise around is immaterial because you know your message, your point. And the ability to remain calm even when provoked or triggered is a quality we all admire. So see that version of you doing that public speaking, that debate, that talk in the way that you would really want to see yourself doing it. As you create a belief at the identity level that you are the calmness, that your default is to be grateful, relaxed, and centered. And fair enough, life will come along and challenge that in the same way that But the lake will always return to the stillness. And you can return to the stillness. Even in the storm, simply by looking inwards. By breathing in that feeling of resourcefulness. And exhaling any feelings of tension, stress or worries. Giving you a sense of feeling deeper and deeper relaxed. I want you to take all of these feelings of serenity, calmness, feeling centered, feeling relaxed, and take all of them and feel them within you. As you accept the suggestion that the more violent the storm, the more you take pride in your ability to remain calm. The more there's chaos around you, the more need there is to be the stability in the chaos. I want you to get a sense then. You are feeling that you are unlocking a powerful resource within you that gets better with practice. Which is why you're looking forward. Looking forward to practicing this particular part. This skill. The sports players that can be relied on 
to make that shot, to take that kick, when all the pressure is on them, are those that have practiced, practiced being calm and imagining all the chaos around them while it happens. And you can do the same. You could imagine facing the worst news in your imagination and still being able to remain calm. You could imagine having debates with the most illogical, irrational, emotional people and still remaining composed. I want you to get a sense that you are tapping into an inner belief that what happens around you almost doesn't matter. Because the one thing you can count on is you. Feel that inner belief, that reliance on yourself. And you can call it confidence or certainty or self-belief or conviction. Feel that growing larger and larger. As you get a growing sense that you'll take huge amounts of pride of being the black belt, the kung fu master, in whatever situations you might find yourself in. Having the ability to remain calm and composed under pressure. When your unconscious mind has accepted that all anxiety is a reflection of the evaluations that you make, And when you trust yourself and move towards the source, it's a vote of confidence in yourself. When your unconscious mind accepts then, it's possible to remain calm, even in the storm. Let me know by nodding your head. Take all of those wonderful feelings and imagine you're there on that Japanese island under a tree looking out at the sunset as you accept that following every sunset will be a sunrise the following day that even if stressful things happen in your life they will be forgotten quickly as a new day dawns there's new opportunities to learn from the past and to move forward to create the future that you desire imagine returning to the present with an inner belief that you are the calm in the storm the black belt of your emotions take a deep breath in through your nose out through your nose wiggle your fingers wiggle your toes and get a sense then you're fully in the present listening to my voice as i now count from one to ten to awaken you starting to count one two three waking up four five six more alert seven eight open your eyes open your eyes nine ten wide awake wide awake wide awake <laughs>